rust hangers rusted off your muffler system so you end up with a system that's kind of afloat and not properly supported well if you stick around I'm going to show you how you can install some aftermarket hangers that'll uh, save you a lot of money because you can do it yourself okay if you don't have a lift you can do this in your driveway or in your garage on the floor uh, with a roller and some jacks uh, but let's go ahead and get this thing in the air and get the repair done <laughs> All right, that should be enough for what we're doing here. Um, I don't have to get all the way underneath to, to do this repair. Oh, we're just gonna put the hanger on right at the back here. Let's get a little bit closer up so you can kind of see uh, where the problem is. Okay, so you can see one of the spots where our problem is. Um, right here, here is the factory uh, muffler uh, hanger and it went down to here and it's rotted off between here and here. So what we're gonna do is uh, use this, like I said, it's just an aftermarket uh, hanger, nothing uh, special. This one, uh, this particular one is an exhaust mate. Got it on Amazon. Only paid, I think, four or five bucks for the both of them. Um, let's see what it comes with. Just as I expected, it's very simple. You get the part that goes around your pipe, and then a part that you can, you just gives you several options to. Um, bolt it through something. What we're going to end up doing is pulling this uh, piece out of here and we're going to bolt this um, up into this spot here. So it'll be up here like this. We'll end up twisting it around and uh, clamping it to the muffler. Now we might have to bend this too depending on the spacing you have. Uh, you might have to bend it or even cut off a piece of it. Whatever you need to do. It's it's a universal system so you can uh, do what you got to get to do. And it does have a swivel here so you can you know do things like this if you have to so uh, let's um, just get this uh, apart here and get it around the muffler put these nuts back on and so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just use some uh, old um, nuts as some spaces nuts I would probably never use for anything again when you order yours Take the measurements like I didn't do so you can get the right ones. This will work just fine. So I'm just reinstalling the nuts that came with the clamp. And again, you don't want to do anything tight at this point. Now what we're going to do just for the moment here is we're going to just get this out of our way. Because we're going to um, see if we can get this thing, this uh, old muffler hanger pulled out of the rubber bushing that it's in. All right, she's coming out. Christmas is coming too. There we go. So once you get that out, that's junk. And we're just gonna use that hole to put our um, new bolt through and bolt to this. You just wanna clamp on one side of it like this. I'll bring it down here. And then you're gonna clamp a uh, wrench on this side. And you're just gonna twist these wrenches opposite of each other which is going to give you the twist that you need to um, put the bolt where you need it. All right, I think we put the bolt right like that. You can see now that'll be supported by this, and this is just going to go up, curve, and then this hole lines up with this rubber grommet, and we'll go ahead and uh, put a bolt right through there. So the bolt will go through here and you'll see that in just a minute. Okay, so once you have your bolt, hopefully I won't block it too much. You're going to um, slide that through. I also have a washer on it because the nut uh, could possibly squeeze through the rubber bushing there. Now this is a carriage bolt. Um, but it locks into the holes of these here. So I don't have to worry about it turning on the other side. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and tighten this up. All right, and because you're going into rubber, 
it never really completely uh, tightens. So one thing you want to do uh, is you can take like a, um, a center punch and damage just a small portion of these threads here. And then that nut can't back off. But yet, if you put a, a big enough wrench, you'll be able to pull it off if you need to replace this uh, down the road. Um, but that way, um, that nut won't back off on you. So once you have all that set, you want to go ahead and tighten up your, um, your um, muffler clamp part itself. So it's holding on to your uh, muffler good and tight. And I got lucky the old part of the hanger is still here. And it's actually grooved, so this new hanger is sitting right into that groove. So this won't slide around either. It's going to be locked right in there. Um, but now you can see um, this is not moving nearly as much. and um, But yet it still has the rubber grommet here and here, so you won't get noise and vibration. And uh, now uh, it's supported. And of course, um, this thing is due for a sticker. It would not pass without these muffler hangers. This is actually missing two. It was this one here and there's one up further. So this was a requirement to uh, get a sticker because uh, you don't want your muffler system to drop out from under your car. So uh, anyways, um, please push that subscribe button, uh, like, comment, share it, and I hope you found it useful or helpful. Again, um, this was only about, uh, I think about 10 bucks or something. And if you were to bring this to a garage, it's going to cost you quite a bit more than that to have it installed. Um, but anyway, thanks for swinging by Shane's Main Shop. Please come back often for more videos, and as always, have a great day.